In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a triple mat using techniques very similar to the double mat I showed you in my other video. Uh, this one has a inner, a middle, and an outer mat layer, uh, making things just a little bit more complicated. But the end effect is a very pleasing result. Uh, so what's important to remember about this technique is that it doesn't really matter how perfect you cut the original mat square. The lines, the lines can be skewed or not parallel. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This technique will keep the inner, middle, and outer lines perfectly parallel to each other no matter what shape the original mat was in. And uh, this parallelism is what is absolutely crucial to keeping a multi-level mat like this looking good. So, let's get started. So to start off, I start with three 16 by 20 inch mat blanks uh, representing the three colors that I'm going to be using. The white will be the outside, this uh, tan light brown color will be the medium color and uh, this dark brown will be the inside. And you can see it fits pretty nicely with this overall color scheme of this photograph. So the first thing to do is to cut out the inner mat first. So I just work with this 16 by 20 and I treat it like a regular mat for a 16 by 11 photograph. So the key to getting this all to work is to always work from a consistent side. So to do that I'm just going to arbitrarily decide to use the lower left corner right here. I'll just draw a little circle on that so I know which corner to work from. Now this is a 16 by 20 inch mat and I'm using a 11 by 16 photograph. So in order to measure that out I'll just go ahead and uh, make my lines about a quarter inch in on either side. Now I'm making all my measurements from the left edge and from the bottom edge. Okay, now I'm ready to cut it. For this I'm using my Logan mid-size mat cutter and Logan beveled edge blade. See, now I have a nice cutout mat, and this will serve as the inner mat. Alright, so now I have the inner mat cut out, and now I want to add the middle mat. Like this. So what I need to be careful to do, I place the inner mat on top of the middle mat, like so. And I'm going to now align them, and I'm going to make these two dots line up. These are now going to be my reference corners on both mats. I'm going to make a little circle here. Now I'm going to carefully line up things in that corner. Okay. Now that these two are well lined up, I'm going to take a pencil with the lead extended pretty far and I'm going to very carefully trace the mat itself. When you're doing this, be very careful to hold the pencil as vertical as possible. Alright, so now I have basically a copy of the inner mat on this middle mat. So now I want to make it a little wider in order to expose some of the inner mat. So the inner mat dimension on this uh, design is going to be one quarter inch. So I'm going to go make another line one quarter inch outside this entire frame. Now I have my lines for the middle mat cuts. Now when you're cutting this, make sure 
only cut the outer set of lines that you made. Okay, now the middle mat is complete. So to add the white now, I basically saw it follow the same exact procedure, only now I'm using the middle mat as my template. So here's the white. I'm going to flip it over. And I will arbitrarily decide to use this as my reference corner. Doesn't really matter which corner I pick. As long as I'm consistent throughout. So I'm going to line these two up. Like that. And now I'm going to go the same process, use my long pencil lead, and trace the pattern. Okay, so there's my pattern. Now, for this particular design, I want the middle mat to be exposed by about one half an inch. So I will now make this line one half inch bigger. Okay, so now here's the pattern I need to cut out of the white board. Now again, I'm making sure to cut on the outer set of lines, not the inner. And there's the white mat. Okay, so now I have three finished mats, the inner, the middle, and the outer, all with these little alignment marks in the corner. Now when you do your final assembly, it's absolutely crucial that you keep these in the same orientation. If you don't, the lines will never be parallel or even with each other. So when you're starting your assembly, let's go inside out. We'll start with the inner two mats. Again, making sure that these are lined up with each other. We'll flip it over. Keeping that same alignment, I'm going to go put some double stick tape on. This is just regular scotch double stick tape. Okay, now I can hand place the other piece. And to do this, uh, the tape allows you to move it around a little bit by eye first. So I'm going to get it so it looks about lined up. Looks okay right there. And then I'm going to slowly press it down. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to make sure that I align the last piece uh, with the same orientation. So this dot, remember, lower left corner, so it has to be like this. I'm going to turn them over together so I don't lose that. And now I will follow the same procedure and tape the outer mat down. And now hand place the outer mat. Same orientation, so the line should be parallel. And I'll just eyeball it till they look about right. Uh, once I'm happy with it, press it down. And for a final press, give it a little bit of weight. Got to be careful not to dent the mat. Okay, so we have a nice 
Nice looking triple mat right here. Let's give it a test uh, with a photo. So that looks pretty good. Now I need to secure the photo in place. I'll just put a little bit of tape on the back side of the photo, two places. So now the sticky side of the tape is facing up here. I'll place the mat over it until I get it in the spot that I want. Like this. And it's pressed down, which will engage the tape. And now the photo is stuck. Now I can do a final mounting with tape. There you have it. So this photo is now completed.